Welcome back everyone. Last episode we ended up becoming a doula for the Sea Emperor and... Oh, we're quite low on food. Uh, we are now responsible for hatching this thing's eggs. Um, before I do anything, let me address my food issue. Uh, sea Emperor, I'm very sorry if this offends you. Uh, Peeper, I know you're kinda... Ooh, wait, I haven't scanned? No, I absolutely have scanned a Peeper. I know that for certain. In fact, I know information about the Peeper. Um, Peeper's inside the containment facility. Bop, okay. Uh, sorry about that. This might be your friend or whatever, but... My survival is rather important to me. Okay, let me go back to my ship before I begin. Actually, let me take a look at that because, you know, why not? Uh, Peeper's inside a containment facility. While all other creatures encountered within the facility are isolated within it, Peepers appear to be coming and going of their own accord via the alien pipe network. Uh, on arrival, Peepers are approaching the Sea Emperor. Peepers exhibit a natural affinity for the stomach enzymes being expelled by the Emperor. Uh, peepers, which have come into contact with the enzyme, are returning to the pipe network. This behavior must be the source of enzyme 42 on 4546b, or the area thereof which supports life. It's also likely responsible for the survival of the Emperor and the other life forms contained within the facility. Oh. Uh, wait, how are you responsible for the life of the Emperor? Em Emperor's a filter feeder, is it not? Wait, do I, don't I have data on that? Where was that? One second, um, was it this one? Okay, let me go back to my ship before I actually dehydrate or die of thirst or die of, uh... Uh, I hope you don't mind me standing on you. I really like your design. You actually look really similar to a sea dragon. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, I don't think you... Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, I should actually probably check that portal before I go back to my ship because if there's a closer shortcut to my base to this place, I would rather like to know about it. Um... Okay, let me do that. In fact, you know what? Let me go through with my suit. I do kind of want to see if it actually takes me with it. Uh, if it, you know, bugs out and explodes my suit or whatever. I did just save, so we should be good on that front. Okay, so... Yeah, how does the... Wait, we're, are we underwater? Yeah, I guess it makes sense we're underwater because that portal was underwater. If it wasn't, uh, the water would just flood out, right? Um, where are we? I don't... Oh! Oh, I think I know where we are. This is the... Um, the quarantine enforcement... Why am I being so banana? It's just the big laser gun, right? Where we watch the sunbeam get absolutely melted. The cause of all our problems, essentially. We got shot down. Oh my god. Actually, wait. Oh, this actually solves our food problem really quite nicely. Because, if I remember right... There is Bulbo trees on this island, and they are fantastic for both food and water. Um, okay, going back to the whole filter feeding thing, right? Um, we did kind of learn something about... I know peepers kind of shoot out their stomach contents occasionally, right? Uh, I guess they probably, like... Yeah, yeah, we... Okay, one second. Um... Yeah, it was here. Specimens' stomach cavities are otherwise empty, suggesting they may have purged the contents before entering the pipes. If peepers have evolved to distribute the enzyme via the pipe network... Okay, yeah, we kind of know that. Um, you know, I kind of want to... In fact, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think I'm going to take some time to reread every entry, which I think is going to be important to the story, so I have... A solid understanding of the story, because I think I've let some misconceptions pile up that I would rather deal with. Um, I think we're actually rather close to approaching the end, so... In fact, let me just do that. Uh, for now, I'm going to fast forward, and in fact, you know what? I'll use this as a great place to get, uh, perhaps a good view of the, you know, night sky while I do this. Anyhow, uh, see you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. I have read quite a bit. <laughs> I have answered some of my misconceptions, and I've also kinda somehow have more questions. Um, 
for the people who missed last episode, and I know you guys are probably tired of me doing this, but this is more for my sake. But I think I fully understand, or at least I have an outline of the events that transpired, uh, or the events accurately portrayed, right? Um, so, let's say a couple thousand years ago, there were some advanced aliens in the world. Also, while we're doing this, I want to, you know, start looking for, uh, where is it? <laughs> It was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, the, th you know, the little plans for the hatching solution. Um, anyway, so a couple thousand years ago, there were some aliens. The aliens there were exploring planets and they encountered a contagion, uh, which started wiping them out. In a hurry, they took this, they took samples of the contagion to different disease research facilities uh, around multiple planets. Uh, particularly, they took uh, it here. Because this is a disease, this place has a disease research facility. So, as far as I understand, Kara didn't originate here, um, but it was brought here artificially. Now, we don't have much data on the aliens, so I'm not going to speculate too much about them. Um, anyhow, so they encounter the Sea Emperor. The Sea Emperor, in its stomach, has a enzyme, enzyme 42, uh, which is used to help process its food. Now. This enzyme inhibits the Kara to prevent it spreading. It also might potentially be a cure, but uh, I, they couldn't get the Sea Emperor to produce the enzyme, or I suppose they couldn't get it to artificially because they needed a young Sea Emperor. <gasps> hey, buddy! Holy shit! I that's okay. You know what? Fuck you. Come here. Come here. I, I I'm not. You know. Mm, you interrupted my beautiful train of thought. Therefore, I am going to scan you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh my god. <laughs> you didn't even make a single damn noise. All right. Come here. Come here. What are you gonna do? Ah. Ah. You're gonna stand perfectly still for my projectile to hit you. I mean, I. Pre oh. You fizzled out. Um. Hey, buddy. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. <laughs> Reaper Leviathan. Um, okay, I'm gonna read about you later after I finish my train of thought because I don't really want to lose it at the moment. Um, okay, I'm gonna leave you alone now. Bye, fuck you. I don't want to see if you can snap my prawn suit. Anyhow, uh, what was I talking about? God damn it. Uh, sea Emperor can't, what is it? Yeah, the Sea Emperor is too old. They captured it at like near the end of its life cycle, therefore they need a younger one. So they try to hatch its eggs. Now the, these eggs, um, they're running out of time, right? So they therefore, they try to forcibly cut one open to see what happens. Uh, it, this, uh, the embryo just dies, right? So they try a whole bunch of research into eggs and they eventually decide, fuck it, we need to research Leviathans and like their hatching stuff. So here's what they do. They find a sea dragon egg, which I'm going to guess they picked because the physical similarities between the sea dragon and the sea emperor, at least visually, they look genetically similar, right? They have like the squid tail and the frog hands, kind of, well, I guess the sea emperor has like mantis hands, but you know what I mean. Um, or mantis claws, I should say. Oh yeah, I need to collect one of these, this is one of the family things. Also, I do know where, I think I do know where this thing is. Also, I need to get rid of this thing. <laughs> I had to exit and get some more tea. Um, eye stock. Actually, I, exa I know exactly where this thing is. Uh, where is it? At 300 meters down, we have a life pod in like a chasm next to one of these eye stocks, right? Like a whole bunch of them. So let me go there. Um, this one is ghost weed. I think that's in the Brine River, but I think that's... Isn't that a Gabe's Feather? I could be misconceived, well, like, uh, mixing them up, but I do remember seeing that in the Brine River area. And last one, I have no clue where that one is. Anyway, let me continue. Uh, where was I? <laughs> yeah, so they took the Sea Dragon. Now, this is the, perhaps their biggest mistake, because the parent of the Sea Dragon, they comes and rams its skull into the disease research facility, now, this immediately triggers quarantine procedures. Now, almost every single uh, quarantined specimen immediately dies. However, one managed to escape, and I'm going to guess this is the thing that actually uh, spread the disease everywhere on this planet. Now, uh, here's where things get a little blurry for me. So, 
around this time, uh, the volcano erupted. It was roughly a milli millennia ago, though I could, they could just be using millennia in the terms of multiple millennia or a single millennium. I have no idea, or that could just been in the past. That doesn't really matter. I'm going to guess that the Carl was the extinction level event that was previously mentioned. Uh, so, most of life dies, however, uh, life perseveres with the help of the pe peepers and the alien vents. Now, I don't know if the aliens designed the peeper. In fact, the whole peepers is a rather confusing mess because I'll share my thoughts on them in a second. But um, anyway, Sea Dragon rams it, one escapes, uh, everyone's infected. So, the peepers, they seem to. I don't know if they're genetically engineered by the aliens, but it says they evolve, so I don't know if they're forcefully, you know, bred to do so, but no, I'm pretty certain they weren't, because the aliens, they mentioned they immediately went into sanctuaries after quarantine procedure was enforced, right? Uh, but the previously, oh wait, I, oh yeah, I need to read, um, no, okay, not, not yet, not yet, let me not interrupt my train of thought, where is it? <laughs> uh... So I think I'm missing some data on the peepers, because they evolved to help spread the bacterium, because they feed the sea emperor by eating a bunch of vegetation and then bring it in, expelling it, and then they pick up enzyme 42 and they spread everywhere. Now, I have a feeling that they were done by aliens, or they were created by aliens, to help mitigate the symptoms of the infection beforehand, because where is it? I... Oh God, I'm trying to remember which one it was in. No, not this one, not this one. Um, terminal data? I think it was... Uh, specimen research data. They were talking about the peeper, right? So, it has... There's referencing the common peeper, like, fully here. So, it's already evolved to do so. Uh, that doesn't really make sense because they came here to build a vent, and then I'm guessing the vent supplies oxygen to the you know, sample placed below down there, right? Uh, it supplies oxygen to the containment facility. Now, so they either created these peepers in order to help spread the enzyme, or the peepers made, it was just an all cosmic coincidence. That's fine for story elements. Anyhow, now after these peepers spread the enzymes, everything within a general vicinity in this volcanic crater area uh, is relatively safe and a thousand years past everything evolves. Eventually, the Degasi comes. They get shot down. Uh, the Degasi crew involved Bart, uh, Paul, and Maida. Uh, they all died. They tried to go down, but they couldn't make it, and they eventually succumbed to the infection. Uh, Bart, I believe, he may have come close, because I think he tried to synthesize a cure, but he failed. Um, and then we come, right? Uh, we are essentially just trying to help construct the phase gate on the Aurora, and then we get shot down, and now we're here, and now we're trying to cure it. That, that's as far as I can understand. Hopefully, I think I'm right about that. That makes sense to me. Uh, I don't get the, the whole peeper business, because there's some contradiction information for that, so I think I'm missing a bit, like, maybe a bit of data or a bit of scan data somewhere. Uh, anyhow, now we have to hatch this, <laughs> hatch this thing, because uh, otherwise I think we're screwed. Um, we also probably have to build a rock. In fact, this might be the last episode because I don't think we have a lot left to do aside from hatch it and then potentially be cured and then just build a rocket and leave. And as far as I know, the rocket is, well, it's rather cheap, right? I do hope I'm going to the right area I'm thinking of. I do remember it was just like a, uh, I don't recognize this place, I'll be honest. <laughs> I, I remember spires of some sort, but this doesn't seem to be it. Um, you know, I probably should have just warped around using the warp cores within the facility, or not the warp gates, I suppose I should say. Uh, because I think that will probably been our. B oh nope, never mind. There's some eye stocks right there. That works out perfectly for us. Um, and then I suppose all I have to. Oh, oh, that's a time capsule. Oh, that's actually two. You know what? I kind of want to open these up since I think I have, you know, everything I need to know, right? Like, I understand the story. How, do, how, how does this work? Ooh, it's a fun little animation. A team is o e obringo pelos. I'm gonna guess this is from an actual player. Um, You gave me a thermal blade and a swim charge fins. That's kind of... That's kind of nuts. Okay, you know, I'm kind of... Wirelessly charges your hell tool while you swim. 
I'm kind of glad I didn't open that because if you gave me that when I first discovered it, that would have been a bit OP. Um, I mean, thank you, but I kind of... Wait, actually, you know, are these just an upgrade? I mean, I'll take the bucket, whatever. Uh, right? <laughs> uh, okay, what about you? Let's see. And you are... TC1422502667. Uh, got it. Uh, you provided me a first aid kit, a Cyclops engine efficiency module. What the fuck are you? Oh. I don't think I've been here then. I don't, I don't think I've seen that little... Uh, grub, I guess. What the hell was that? It was a four-eyed creature? Where did... It's tiny. Where did this appear off to? Um... And you gave me a Cyclops decoy tube upgrade. Wow, okay. Bit excessive on the... <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, yeah, let me read that Reaper databank. Um... Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, comes with a thing. Um, as a, you know, I don't understand this. Uh, Flavio Makado YouTube. Okay, you might be a YouTuber. <laughs> uh, shout out to you. Unless you're a bad person. Uh, you know what, never mind. And then TC... Uh, something. Hope you luckily. And language I can't... Oh, that's the cuttlefish. Oh yeah, you're outside the bay. Mm, maybe I should probably release all my fish. And that, I can't understand that. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for the kind gifts. Uh, you know, other people, but <laughs> seems a bit excessive. Uh, let's see. I stock C. Okay, I think that's what we need. Do I have to do this in time? I think I can probably just use it while I gather the stuff. Um, wait, was that not the right way to... Oh, it was. Oh. Oh, no, no, it is counting the bulb bush sample. Okay, um... I know for certain we actually have that fungal sample at base. I think I tried to grow a mushroom tree in my base. Um, but here's the problem. I have... In fact, let me check my fawn and flora data. The, oh, yeah, I need to re read up on the reaper. Let's see, leviathan, reaper, leviathan. Leviathan class... Species are vast organisms at the top of the respective food chains. This species is a streamlined hunter with highly developed senses. This leviathan is ca capable of locking prey in place with its four powerful mandibles and drawing it within reach of its jaws. Simulated pressure exceeds seamoth crush resistance. Ah, so maybe only the seamoth. I got it. Uh, scan specimen measures 55 meters long. Observe circling its prey and attacking from behind. This Creatures almost all muscle, very little brain. <laughs> no sense of morality, just muscle, synapses, and teeth. Motivational note, congratulations on getting close enough to scan it, living it, and to see the results. Uh, yeah, can whatever his face do that? Uh, yeah, okay, I came, I tried to come here. Um, I guess there's nothing left to do except for explore for the plant. I mean, why not? Uh, we seem to reach a slightly new area. I don't think I've been... Maybe I need to look for a new biome. Uh, you're not gonna shoot at me, are you? I am in titanium, so I don't think it would matter. Uh, let me actually check my fauna data, or flora data, I should say. Because I might have encountered it and may have just forgotten about it. Flora. C. Uh, where's Gabe's feather? Um. No, that's not the same. Wait, Ghostweed? Oh, you know, I probably just mixed these two up by just reading their entries wrong somehow. How did I do that? Um, and then Sea Crown. Have I seen this? Also, oh, this doesn't really provide me environment location, which is not a great sign. So I should probably have to... I guess I'll just be walking around. Um, oh, it could be underwater, or I suppose underground, too. Okay, and then I have everything else, right? Okay. Well, I guess we're just walking around, just talking. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, if this is perhaps the last episode, uh, there's a couple of things I still want to try to do, so... I don't know if I'll... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to end this here, but I am curious to see what happens, because... If... We still haven't dived as deep as we can, right? We need to go 1,700 meters down. But what 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 are we currently at? Like 1,400? No, that might just be the entrance. Um. Oh, you don't actually show the depth, which is a bit unusual. Um. Have I really never been? I think I've been somewhere similar to here, but I don't think I've been to this exact spiky biome. Oh, I could also get. <laughs> I think we're pretty close to Markiplier, right? I could go scan him. Uh. Though I don't think 
I really care. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, uh, that's not happening. Why? This place is definitely new. I have not been here. This is also re weirdly sparse and kind of unsettling. Um, just sand and kind of like this weird waxy substance. Is this kind of like... I mean, this looks like sandstone, really. Oh, wow, that's completely calcified. Um, that was calcified like coral. Like, what's the composition of that? Huh. Okay, yeah, there's probably a whole bunch of places I haven't been yet, right? Uh, see, here's the thing. I don't know where I haven't... Oh, is that it? No, that's a that's a quartz. <laughs> Can I search for it with my scanner? I might go back to base and then try to look for it with my scanner. Uh, but for now, I just kind of... I should probably stop jumping into the air, right? Because if this thing is flora, it's probably just going to be growing on the ground, right? That makes sense. Uh, I do hope my ship's okay. I think it probably is because, well, the whole rendering or like, uh, yeah, I need to go back to my base. Okay, I'm gonna start heading there right now because, oh, I might run out of time before I fully get there, won't I? Oh, you know, my in-between base is here. Uh, I guess I'll catch a bladderfish along the way. Uh, okay. I thought I was pretty, like, thorough for scanning for plants and stuff, but, you know, Oh, you know what? I, I I completely forgot, but it might be in the starting area now that I think about it, because I don't think I was uh, scanning stuff too often back, like, then, right? I thought it was mainly just lore. I didn't understand that scanning was essential to story progression. Okay, come here. Give me you. It's been a long time since I drank out of a bladder fish, or as I should say... I've made food out of a bladder, or made water out of a bladder. What did I just jump on? Did I just double jump? <laughs> I guess I can double jump now occasionally. Oh, there was that one time we did walk on water. That was really, I really want to try recreating that. I don't know what caused that. I think I got close to the surface and then I somehow propelled myself. Am I going the right way? I think I'm pointing myself towards my ship, like subconsciously. Uh, I don't think that's anything too scary. Oh, it also could be in the caves in this place. I don't think I've explored them too thoroughly, though I don't know how much of theirs... Hmm. No, no. The scanner day doesn't actually show... Oh, perfect timing. Um, this is like the coral area, right? The basic... area? Man, I do hope that thing is fluorescent. Uh, how big is it? Oh, is that it? This, uh... Sea crown? No, this is like a... A vine nettle. Okay, I guess you're more blue. Well, I might actually end up fast forwarding depending on how long this takes me. Eh, you know what, whatever. Uh, actually, you know what, look. If it's gonna take an exceedingly long time for me to find it, I'll just fast forward until I find whatever area it's in. Um, if that's gonna happen, I'll do it now. Oh, oh, okay, uh, welcome back. Um, I actually was going to descend down here to grab the... Well, I was going to descend into the Brine River area because that's a bit farther down. And I know there's a back entrance through here, but I think this is actually what we need, is it not? Yeah, go sweet, okay. Wow, you are much closer to the surface than I anticipated. Um, wow, if only I found <laughs> the sea crown like this. Anyhow, I shall return. I'm, I guess I'll just walk along the sea floor for a bit. Um, adios. Shit! Oh, you bastard! Oh my god! Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! Oh, I know you can't crush this thing, I know you can crush the seam off! Oh my god, okay, welcome back! Oh, it's you! You crushed my seam off! You know what? <laughs> you know what? Come here! What, you dealt 30 damage to my thing in a grab? Can I kill you? 
Can I kill you? Can I kill you? I, oh my god. I was just looking for the fucking crown. Oh, you bastard. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Let me repair my shit. Let me repair my shit. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Well, hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I've been looking for a while. I'm pretty certain this thing doesn't exist. Um, I decided to look around the Aurora because, you know, I haven't been here too much. I kind of want to take revenge on this thing. What is above me? I saw a big shadow. Uh, he ran away. Can I kill this thing? Look, if I can get revenge on this thing before I leave this planet, uh, I would consider that an absolutely huge plus. Also, I don't- ooh, that is a big ravine I haven't seen. Um, okay, I'll check that out in a second, but you know what? Honestly, I want to kill you. Fuck you. I, I don't know if it's possible, I don't know if I'm being stupid, I don't know if I'm flying into the- directly into the sun again, but I do want to see if it's possible, and- uh, Fuck you! Get off me! I mean, I should take off this grappling hook. You know, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Perfect idea. Grab onto him, punch him to death. Uh, okay, uh, I see nothing below me. I'm kind of nervous right now. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, uh, sorry if I jump scared you as well, but, uh, oh, there's two of them. Okay. Oh, mm, I want to kill one of these. <laughs> I want revenge for Icarus 1. Oh, stay the fuck away from me while I do this. Come here. Where are you? I don't even know why I came here. This place is desolate of life. Uh... I mean, okay, this whole place is making me- Why are you here? How are you alive? I thought the Reapers would kill you. Um... Okay, well... Shit. Okay, I don't know what this thing is, but it seems to be something of note. Uh... Or is this just the edge? Because I have almost fallen into the unfathomable abyss multiple times now, and... Yep, I think that's the abyss. <laughs> um, oh, what's that? Oh no, that's just part of my seam off. How far are we? Oh, yeah, that's roughly two kilometers. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna go back to search. Uh, sorry to alert you folks. Sorry to scare you. Uh. Hi, welcome back. Um, it's been a while. I've been searching for quite a long time. I ended up making these alien batteries. They seem to hold a lot more power. And I don't know where I currently am. I've been exploring for quite a while. I, I have not found this plant. I don't think it exists. But what I have found is what I believe to be an asteroid impact. Which is... Because that seems to be a big circle. That seems to be the immediate crater. And that we're just in a massive crater. And beyond this place, I have found some alien technology. So I do want to check this out and, you know, not leave this off. Oh, red word? Oh, yeah. Um, I have found... Yeah, I know, I know. I've only found one other species of plant besides from this one that I've previously missed. Uh, I do wonder what's going on up there. Hopefully my ship is probably safe out there. Um, oh. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, please tell me I have a purple tablet in my ship, do I? Oh no. Oh god damn it. Ah. Uh, fuck. Okay. Where am I? I am directly southeast of. Southeast of Life Pod. Got it. Southeast Life Pod. I shall be back in a moment. <gasps> oh, I found it. I finally found it. Holy shit. Is this the only one of them? This is the most isolated. I am in the middle of nowhere. Uh, okay, give me this. Please tell me I have it. Oh my god. I have been searching for absolutely ages. I don't even know where I am. I'm in just the middle of goddamn nowhere in a random cave. Uh, I'm, I'm next to the asteroid thing, right? Oh my god, finally. I've been searching. Huh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go get a tablet, or I suppose make a tablet to go deal with the- Oh, there's one right there. 
Okay, I do hope I haven't missed a bunch of these because, like, I've been searching quite hard for them. Uh, anyway. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Hi. This is Retro from the Future. Uh, I was playing around after I actually finished the game, and I would like to display something. <laughs> um, so, here's a sea crown. And here's my base. Here's the sea crown. And here's my base. Anyway, take it away, Retro from the past. You fucking idiot. Efficiency greatly decreased. Hi, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while, and I've taken a little bit of a break because I needed one after searching for the crown for so long. Uh, I ended up making the bacterium, or the, sorry, not the bacterium, but the hatching enzymes. Uh, hopefully I've included that, uh, because I was at the base and all of the plant ingredients were taking up quite a bit of my inventory at that point. Uh, I ended up making two purple tablets and I brought along two ion cubes. And I am actually really curious to see what this is, because this is incredibly hidden. As far as I can tell, uh, oh my, hey buddy, oh, please don't. Uh, okay. Reaper, I don't know what happens if you grab me directly, but I imagine it's not great. And I really don't know what happens if... Okay, don't pull a sea dragon on me and just clip through the walls while I do this. I just want to find out what this is. This is incredibly hidden in comparison to every other thing. As far as I can tell, nothing po points this location at all except for the brick crater. I guess that's kind of obvious, but... Uh, this area is kind of sparse. Oh, yep. Uh, press F8 to give bugs and give feedback. Okay, you know, I do have a tiny bit of feedback. <laughs> uh, game good. Uh, part two. Good job. <laughs> you, you did a good job. Okay, game's good. Um, okay. More ion cubes. I guess I can use some more of these and let me get rid of this thing. Uh, and then, but we do have an unlimited source of these as far as I can tell, so... That's not a big deal, so I'm more concerned about the lore. Integrating new PDA okay, data. alien biologic. Oh, are we gonna get a look at the aliens for once? Because we know, like, literally nothing about them. Uh, what do we, do we They're highly advanced. That's kind of all we know about them. And I think that's it. Well, a bunch of them died. They're highly populous. Um, so they or they were so hundred billion of them. Let's see. Indigenous life? No, that's not it. Um, I, I'm not sure if I want to be around the area. There's a lot of reapers here. Uh, they seem to like sparse dead areas like this, so... Ah, whatever. If I get jump scared again, whatever. Uh, terminal data, alien biological history. This terminal contains data mapping the complete biological history of a member of this alien species. The data set is hugely complex, but some basic facts can be reconstructed was grown from seed 1,708 Earth years ago, separated from broodlings early for special training. Inducted into Temple of Research as the youngest ever initiate, age 96. Downloaded a corrupted data set and was stored for three years for refactoring. Relocated to the outer galaxy cluster to support disease research endeavors. Relocated to 4546B for high priority disease research contracted carbacterium, stored in Sanctuary 3, corporeal body safely disposed. Oh. Okay. Wait, uh, let me check something. Uh, where is it? The damage report? Let's see. Evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Okay, so is that one of the sanctuaries? No. No, I don't think this is one of the sanctuaries. This is just the biological data then. Okay, so we know... Well, I mean, this is... the. They can be ancient, they can be 1,700 years ago. So, they seem to view their body... As, well, I suppose they see themselves more as a consciousness rather than a human, or I suppose rather than a corporeal body, so they have a separation of mind and body theory, for at least. You download- okay, so are you guys more constructs, like physical constructs? Or like, I should, I should say robotic constructs, right? Because if you can download a corrupted data set and then... Um, yeah, so I'm gonna guess you're storing your consciousness in like a data bank then. Huh. And you're saying you were grown from seed. Do you mean like... Plant seed or the other kind of seed? Uh, no, you're saying broodling. So you do have some biological 
components as far as I can tell. Induct into Age of Research. So you were an incredibly talented researcher, as far as I can tell, and that's why they sent you off to study Carbacterium. Um, by off-site, do you mean off-planet, or do you mean off... Hmm. I wonder if there are more of these, because I've explored pretty well now, but I haven't seen anything else like that. Um, I think we're... Hey, hey buddy. Uh, as far... How far are we from... Okay. A life pond, it should be a bit more... F okay, you know, I really want to kill one of you, but I don't think... I punched one for quite a while. I don't think it did anything to it. Oh, another time capsule. That's awfully convenient. Um... I mean, yeah, sure, I'll go for it. <laughs> what you contain? I popped open a few of these now. Uh, hope this brightens your day. Uh, let's see. Uh, the world can be a scary place, but only if you let it be. Preparing goes a long way in ensuring that your time on this planet is an enjoyable one. Included a few items that should make it easier to navigate more treacherous terrain on this planet. Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> just remember to use it. Uh, okay, what'd you, what'd you give me? That's, that's a rather wholesome message. Oh, you gave me some swim charge fins, a pathfinder tool, and a flash. That's rather wholesome. Okay, I kind of like that. That's, that's not like super intrusive. That's not super OP. And it's just like such a lovely message. Um... Okay, I think I'm ready. I mean, there's nothing else to do except for hatch the things, and... <sighs> and engage in mortal combat with my greatest foe. Come here. I've taken off the stupid drill hand. I will kill you if it's the last damn thing I do. I'm hooked onto you, there's no escape. You have fucked up. Oh my god, if I can do this, I'm going to be so happy. I just want revenge on one of these things. Um, please don't go off the edge. As far as I can tell, that's never a good idea. No, you- Yeah! <laughs> oh, you absolute buffoon. You may be innocent directly, but your species isn't. Also, you guys are just more synapses than brain, so I'm not sure if you're, you know... Are you killable? Can I kill you even? I mean, you're actually taking me back to my... I feel... <laughs> I'm hurting her back to my... Can I steer him a bit? Oh my god. Can I steer this... <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Point that way. Wait, can I use these as a trance? <gasps> I absolutely can. Okay, point more right. Point more right. <gasps> you can steer this thing, kinda. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, this is really good to know if I ever need, like, incredibly quick transport like this. Oh, please die. How are you still alive? <gasps> yes. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I've taken a screenshot in like ever. Uh, how do I take a screenshot again? But I think this is it. I think I, I think this is my crowning achievement. Using this thing as, as is it F12? Uh, F6? No. F8? No. Uh... How do I, how do I, what's this, what's the, um, uh, oh, press F11, thank you. I'm glad I took that screenshot to tell me how to take a screenshot. Uh, this is my crowning achievement, behold. It might be the thumbnail. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, thank you, that was actually rather awfully convenient of you, giving me a ride, uh, all, mostly back to my base. Uh, yeah, you saved me a th roughly a thousand meters of travel distance, thank you. Uh, and I believe we should be next to the floating island. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, okay, so if we're next to the floating islands, I don't even need to go back to my base. Uh, why am I even thinking of doing that? We're right next to the mountain anyway, so I can just hop in the portal. Wow, you were an incredibly convenient reaper. Thank you for your service, I appreciate everything you've done for me. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Oh, man, that was that was a lot of fun. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I went for it. Okay, grappling hook and left arm. Fantastic. Uh, mountain should be here somewhere, if I remember right. Because I know that the mountain is literally right next to this drop-off, I think. Uh, this might be it. Though I do... Yeah, this has to be it. Okay. And, in fact, there's going to be a warper that will spawn around here if I go past this area. Because I have... Hello? Oh, never mind. Okay, well, I've passed this area a couple times. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there he goes. Uh, that seems to be like a set event if you come into this area. Uh, there we go. Whew. 
And I think I've, in general, explored everything I've wanted to. And a bit extra, I didn't expect that little asteroid. Uh, I do wonder if there's more, I mean, there's absolutely more hidden stuff like that, right? This place is massive, and I've probably missed a fair few things, let's be realistic, but I don't know, I feel like I've done my fair share of due diligence. Okay, um, see, Emperor, I have your chil- or, not your children, but I have the solution to hatching your children. Um, come to me, or I should say, I should come to you. Uh, where is... It's, the gate is somewhere down here, is it not? Um, am I blind? <laughs> I remember it being down- oh yeah, there it is, it's quite low. And I also did end up- I think I've swept the entire perimeter of the island, like, legitimately. Uh, <laughs> in search of this damn sea crown, which I did not expect to take so long. I thought it'd be a quick 10 minute search, no. <laughs> uh, okay. What do you hold for me? Hi, I'm I'm back. Sorry that it took so long. Um, I have the thing for your children. How do I do this? Oh wait, no, I, I remember. Um, just like this. Oh, wow, that was instantaneous. Oh, you're kind of ugly, cute. I'll be honest. Hey, buddies, oh, I can scan you. See, I'm per juvenile. I do like the little chirpy noises they make. They're quick cute. They're actually quite large, even like... You're bigger than a human at like, you're very infantile. Hey, why- you guys look quite sad. Um... Huh. Hey, buddy. Aw. <laughs> Aw. That warms my cold, cold rat-like heart. Okay. <laughs> hey. Um, I've upheld my end of the deal, can you... Uh, hello? Oh, hi. What? Don't tell me- oh. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Oh. Goodbye. Are you gonna close your eyes? Oh. That's, that's kind of bittersweet. Um... Is this touch coated enzyme 42? Oh. My. My good? <laughs> it's quite sticky, huh? If I. Okay, uh. If I scan myself now, my fine. Oh my god. Well, I have a bit more of a pressing concern of in the fact that I'm about to drown. To the uh, uh, you talk like you're about to die. I assume you don't have much time left. I know you've exceeded your lifespan by quite a few. Can complete. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. Oh. Okay, I suppose, well, I mean, goodbye, friend. Thank you for everything. Well, I mean, I also helped you, I suppose, but... Oh no, thanks for helping me cure myself. Though, I, I suppose I had to help your children in order to do it, since you can't really produce the... the good stuff, right? I'm sorry I'm talking about your, like, life-curing bacteria like this. I'm s okay, goodbye. Um, have a nice life as an ocean cure current or whatever. Um... Bye! Uh, I'm just gonna leave this place before I make my departure from the end of her life very awkward. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm, I'm, shedding, I'm shedding a little tear. Hey, guys. I guess you kind of went through the portal. Oh, and now you're gonna... I guess you're just gonna spread Enzyme 42 everywhere. Oh. Um. Hopefully the Reapers and stuff leave you alone. I do hope you got... Mm. I mean, you are Leviathans yourself. Oh, you guys are actually ready. Wow, you guys are quick, huh? I mean, best of luck with your task. Uh, 
I know you guys got quite a bit. Well, I think I know what I need to do next. And the last step, I suppose. Um, are they going to be fine? <laughs> I feel there's quite a lot of Reapers here. And in fact, there's... I've, I think I counted roughly 10-ish, at the very least, just surrounding uh, this perimeter. It was quite a lot. Uh, well, hopefully they make it and the planet isn't doomed, but maybe the Reapers and the Ghost Leviathans are going to be smart enough to leave them alone. Uh, <laughs> let's just assume that's a possibility. Though if they grow up quickly enough, I suppose they can defend themselves with their giant claws. Uh... Am I going the right way? Which way did I need to go to? Or I know it's somewhere here. Was this the moon pool entrance? Yes, um... Where, which way did I come from? Is the question. I know I came from an elevator. And then I have to find... Is this the elevator or is this the laser spot? No, this is the... Warp gate. Where the hell do you lead? Wait, what? Oh no, this leads back into the lab. Or, I suppose, the containment research facility. Yeah. Or the Sea Emperor's Tomb, I should say. <laughs> no, okay, that's a bit dark. Oh god, I feel, I feel dirty for making that one. Um, I guess it's upwards. I mean, it, it's kind of... <laughs> it's a really bittersweet moment. Now I just have... Well, well just me. Right? There was, It's kind of sad, because... Well, I thought I was alone, but, you know, now knowing I'm alone without any other sentient... I guess the children are technically sentient and sapient, but... I mean, they're children right now. Can't really talk to them. Um... Hey, machine. Are you happy with me now? I'm cured. Yeah. I like how I was a bit more apprehend... <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that it? I think that's it. What's that sound? Isn't that the sound it made before shooting? Uh... Aliens aren't gonna come here, right? Uh, I mean, they're probably still out there. Just by the size of their species, and if they if they can, like, digitize their consciousness, uh... That's a big deal. Um... We, you good? You in particular. Uh... Is there a way to dispose of this safely? Maybe throw you into a black hole or something, but I don't think I have the means for that. Uh, so therefore, I shall just leave you be, and hopefully, uh, no fool and comes there to interfere with that thing. Though then again, it did say we have no physical means of harming like the metal here, right? Up, <laughs> bop, bop, nope, okay, um, I guess I just have to go back to base and I think I can leave now. I just have to make the rocket? I mean, okay, I mean, rockets seem incredibly easy, right? Where is it? Um... Provides a stable surface to which to launch that. Oh, God, I'm out of titanium. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, I can do the rest. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna include this because I don't know how short this episode's gonna be because I'm fairly certain the majority of it has just been me uh, fast-forwarding through time. Um... Peeper? You're relinquished of your duty? Maybe. Uh, you might want to keep feeding the big mama guy. Or I suppose the big em What's a gender neutral term for an emperor? Right? Because they don't have sex, so em uh, monarch? I thought monarch only applied to like kings and like queens. Um, royalty, I guess? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, hey, hey, reaper. Um, can you point that way? Reaper? <laughs> Reaper, I need you. <laughs> I know this is abuse of the thing. Come here. Yes, yes, yes. You won't regret this one bit. Yup, up, right, shoot. Yeah, yeah, and are you going the right, right way? Yes, you are. 
perfect. Just head that way. Fan bloody tastic. Incredible. <laughs> this feels dumb. This also feels mean, even for me, but come on, they bullied me so long. No, 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 you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Go, go the right way. Come on, go now. Okay, fine. I'll let you go. You can be free. You. Oh, oh, you want some? <laughs> you grabbed me like six times now. Let go. Come on, come on. Let go of your alligator crocodile death roll. Ah. Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> I suppose it's a good time for me to pick up titanium scraps along the way and probably break open some sandstone because. I don't think I actually have... Is this titanium, actually? Or is this... I think this is silver. I think that's silver. Okay, I'll leave that alone. Um, I don't think I have enough lead. I think I ended up using all of it in order to make my nuclear fuel rods, which seem to be still going strong. Um, Oh, well, convenient timing. Some sandstone deposits. And then... You know, I should probably just mine on the way back, right? I have a... Wait, the mining... Is the mining arm on me, or... Here we go. I saw a shadow over me. I thought the Reaper came to take revenge while he was exposed, which would be incredibly fitting. Uh, you're silver. Um, I don't need you for a computer chip, right? I mean, I'll just take a bit. I think I'm out because of, uh, what, what was it? But yeah, I was making the alien power cells, which aren't... You know, they're only five times as much as the regular battery capacity, which is a lot in terms of gameplay purposes, right? Uh, I don't need more silver, let's be real. Um, but <laughs> you feel like for something that contains the power of a nuke, uh, it would be quite a lot more. That is lithium. I have more than enough lithium. How far am I from my base? I think we're within the range I picked everything clean, didn't I? isn't it? Um, I might have to go somewhere new. I could go towards the Aurora, I'm closest, close-ish to- oh. Wait, there's a titanium node here I have in mind. Ooh, I wish there's- mm. I've never checked the scanner room, but I- is there like a scanner thing for like node deposits? I don't know what to call these, but I don't know. Um, well, I think that's all I need, that's not a Reaper, that's an Ampule. Oh yeah, I got an up and close view of a Ghost of Life, and I gotta see like the nice internal workings and see like the- internal little lights that the thing was talking about, right? Uh, you know what? I don't think I've scanned an adult. <laughs> oh no. Do I want to try to scan an adult Leviathan? The only place I know where they are is just outside, right? I don't think I'm supposed to. I mean, I could give it a shot, but... <laughs> What's the difference between scanning a juvenile and scanning- Oh yeah, let me read my scan data! We did just, uh, where is it? And did just life forms? Uh, I mean, sure, I'll read up on my plant beforehand. <laughs> uh, blue palm. Uh, oh yeah, this is one of the plants I found that kind of looked like what I was looking for. It wasn't, um... See Emperor Juve- Oh, I kind of like how he has, like, a child. Oh, he's very cute. Um... A juvenile emperor specimen, it is producing a highly potent form of Enzyme 42 which should be capable of fury fully curing individuals of the alien bacterium. The species hatches relatively fully formed and independent, perhaps reflecting the fact that it must fend for themselves when they are first born and away from their parents. The specimen is healthy and exhibiting signs of a positive attitude to life. Wow, okay, that's good to know. That, that was actually rather quick. Uh, Glad you have your positive attitude, little buddy. Uh, I'm leaving now. <laughs> See ya. Uh, as much as I... Ooh. Aboard, as much captain. as I've grown attached to this planet... Oh god, do I really want to leave? Altera's gonna work me to the goddamn bone, isn't it? Right? What the hell? What are you... How, what? Okay, you know what? That's perfect timing. Your name is now Barry. <laughs> you finish my collection. Alright. <laughs> Do I, did I already have a berry? I don't think I did. Perfect, perfect. That works out. Okay, um... Is this enough titanium? I don't think it is. Okay, let me put away these alien energy cubes. And then... Let me put away this extra swim charge fins. And then... I wish I could deconstruct stuff for f stuff. Um... I guess silver... I don't need to organize anymore. It's, it's, it's just... It's weird knowing that. Okay, I need gold. I need a bit of copper. I need some... 
Do I have extras of ta- oh god damn it. Do I have an extra computer chip somewhere? Oh no, I don't. I'm leaving this in, I don't care. You have to suffer with me grabbing random supplies. Uh, okay. Here we go. And then... Where is my... Bronze suit? Oh, I... Why did I undock it? Um... Okay. Well, time to find a bit of table. What is... That is the tiniest bug I have ever seen. What the hell are you? Oh. Oh no, we've seen you before. You were incredibly hard to scan. You were actually rather impressive. Um... Do I know where any table coral is? Oh yeah, I encountered a ton of wrecks. <laughs> like an absolute ton of them I didn't see. I've, I found one, like a really cool one in the tree. I didn't go to any of them because, I don't know, it feels like I've technologically maxed out, right? Unless, uh, there's probably some other s stuff I've missed here and there, but... I don't know, it's not important enough for me to uh, really care. Um... Seriously, uh, I don't know where to get table coral in this area. The only place I know where to get table coral is my life pod. Though I could perhaps make the... You know, it would be fitting just to make the launch rocket right next to the life pod, right? Just leave where I came in from? Also, yeah, thinking back on it, I got so goddamn lucky with where I spawned. Uh, I don't know how CTO, uh, CTO U ever made it out of the depths of the... What was it, the 500 meter place? I know she could have, like, made a whole bunch of stuff since my PDA was corrupted, but, like, even so, that's rather impressive. Uh, because there's, if I, if I remember right, there's actually a ghost of life in the area. Uh, in fact, I think that's the only other one we've seen that was kind of outside the cave. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a mighty computer chip, would you? No, you have a medical kit. Uh, hopefully I won't need that. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm just free to leave this planet. Uh, also, wow, there's a lot more titanium around here than I realized. I guess I'm blind. How did I miss all this during the... Well, I was gonna say, how did I miss all this during the royalty-free jazz up? Can I... Royalty-free jazz up, so... But then again, I went absolutely mad during that. Oh, is that enough? No, I need four. Do I have two? Go away. <laughs> Now's not the time. I'm doing my victory lap. Okay, seriously, how did I miss... This would have helped... Okay, I guess it just didn't go that way much during the... Oh, yeah, it's because it's next to the Aurora. And next to the... Okay, I get it. I, I get why I avoided this place. Huh. That is gold. I know I've said this before, but I have enough gold to last me... Oh. Here's a question. Am I actually going to be riddled with debt once I go back to Altera? This is kind of their fault. <laughs> right? I mean... They decided to go here. I'm just a lowly, uh, passenger slash crew member. Let's see. Guys, what was my debt once I, like, picked up a single diamond? Three million? I don't think they're gonna be very happy with the fact that I've kind of just left an ins- <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you know what? While I was reading entries, I do wonder- <sighs> Okay, I know this is stupidly dumb, but- they did- I wonder if there's like an alternative like ending thing if I actually bring the little robot guy, cause... It recommended I bring it to Altera for mutual profit, right? And if I- could I bring it? It's all the way down into the thermal facility, isn't it? Yeah, okay, it's in the thermal facility, but how would I bring it out? I guess I can go with a- no, the only way I can pick it up was with a gravity Oh wait, there's a gravity can- hmm. There's a gravity cannon appendage for the prawn suit, right? Oh my god, that totally has to be a thing, right? Like a secret ending where you bring the robot thing? Okay, no, wait, how would I do this? Can I bring it through a portal? Because if I can bring it through a pro portal, that would make my job ten times easier. Uh, if not, I guess I could just... No, the gravity thing uses way too much power uh, for me to like sustainably hold it through the entire time, doesn't it, right? So if I bring the... Okay, I put a gravity on arm on my cannon, right? Gravity gun. Um, I go all the way to the thermal facility. I pick the guy up and then... How do I... Is there like a storage place for it in the Neptune rocket? I mean, okay, if there's like a store... Like an obvious storage place for that thing, I will do it. 
This uh, this episode has already taken me what three four hours, and if if it's late, that's probably why. Um, too bad. <laughs> okay, let's see. But like, I am interested in seeing what happens with that. Oh yeah, I thought more about the uh, peeper problem. Um, chronologically, I have no idea how it makes sense at all because, well, one, if the aliens made the peepers, right? Like, the only way they could have made sense was the aliens, like, physically evolved the peepers through their tasks, because, uh, I think there was some information that stated... Oh, God, how do I, how do I like, phrase this? I, I, I didn't think about how to talk about this. Um, hmm. Okay, so, the peepers, right? Let's say they evolved directly after everything died, right? And the aliens, they just utilized alien vents. Uh, that would imply they somehow... Like, the Alpha Peeper, right? During that time period. Uh, they wouldn't have had time to evolve in time for the Sea Emperor. You know, the Sea Emperor could just not require a lot of food. But if that's the case, right? Life would have perished. So they had to evolve incredibly quickly. But if the aliens created them, like, half their lungs wouldn't make sense regarding it. So I have no idea on how that has functioned, but like... I guess the peepers were biologically ready to transport Enzyme 42. Uh, just like off the bat, and then that was just like a what You know, I shouldn't think about it too much. <laughs> Coincidences in stories are kind of needed, right? That's how stories work, that's how stories function. Um, yeah, okay, you know, sometimes just don't think about it. Uh, okay, what was I doing? Well, I was getting off this rock. <laughs> uh, what are my thoughts about the game as a whole? I mean, I really liked it. I like the whole atmosphere of it. I can see why people call it relaxing now, right? But that, I would not call this a relaxing game, especially because I've had a lot of time in here, right? Uh, I don't actually know how much- ooh, I should actually probably check that. I do want to see how much playtime I've invested into this. Uh, but, uh, what was I thinking about? The people who call this relaxing? You're damn fools. <laughs> you know who I'm talking to. The people in my life in particular but yeah no uh, i can't see how it's relaxing now just going on a walk looking for that thing uh it was, it was pretty fun um okay two titanium a computer chip i have a bunch of titanium on me or actually i suppose three i didn't bother minding the rest that i okay now then do i have the copper and the yes i do copper and then where is this? Oh, I didn't finish making it. And then I need titanium ingots. Um, I don't think I need these things anymore, do I? Right? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep the stasis rifle on me because... Also, ooh. Okay, you, well, I'm just gonna leave that here. I'm sorry, fish. I'm very sorry, fish, in case you get nuclear uh, radiation poisoning in the future. Um, look, you guys figured out why I can't... Oh, my inventory is full. You guys figured out how to deal with Enzyme 42. You guys can figure out how to evolve to deal with radiation poisoning. Um, that means probably not a lot. That seems like a small little reactor thing. Um, oh god, don't tell me I'm out of titanium. This is enough, is I need one more titanium. Oh my god, please tell me I have one more titanium. You're joking. You're absolutely joking. Am I... There has to be one more titanium in my base somewhere. There can't- oh my god, you know what? Fine, fine, fine. We're taking full inside to the side. Uh, also, I do like how the- what is it? The ion power cells, that's the one. They have a different visual appearance. I think that's a nice little touch. Though I do wish I put made some for my... I suppose my... Icarus 2. I didn't really get too much use out of it, except for the descending into the depth. Though I think I probably could have just done it with the prawn suit, couldn't I? I would have just had to pack a tiny bit more supplies, and... Oh yeah, and I guess I would have had to travel back, right? Hm. Well, pff, pff, doesn't matter now. Okay, just give... I'll just mine the whole thing. Alright. Um... You're not gonna bite me from the back? We're good? Uh, do I have to pack food for this journey? I don't... I, it's been a long time since I read the Neptune Nem tree. I, I know I'm supposed to use some alien things for it if... Ooh. 
It did, I do remember it saying, oh my god, look at the view on that. Uh, using alien power sources might change... Is there endings to this? So if I just like somehow incorporate a alien power source into the Neptune rocket, would I somehow get a different ending? Hmm. Okay, I mean, there's no point in speculating about it. I could just do it, right? Also, what is... Uh, I don't think I've scanned... No. I can, Oh. There's table coral here. I forgot about the black and table coral. Oh, I didn't have to go that far. Well, I mean, whatever. Mistake is a mistake. Uh, I shall drop you. Base. Um, I kind of want to take my fish with me. Right? If, I, if I'm if i leaving on a rocket, I kind of want to take my friends with me. I mean, Perry, Gary, Harry, uh, now Barry, Airy, uh, Rary, other Harry, spelled with an A this time. Uh, O'Airy. Uh, I think that's all of them. <laughs> right? <laughs> Airy? I, I do hope I didn't miss one. I've said that so many times. Oh my god. God damn it. Uh, well, at least I don't have to worry about running out of that titanium anymore. God. I think I've burned through so much. I'm. You know what? I could have just. Oh, I could have just deconstructed my stupid extra moon pool. I forgot about that, right? I don't need my extra moon pool. It's been completely useless this whole time. There's no point for. Oh my god. Okay, you know, whatever. I'm not too concerned about it. I'm just gonna leave. Uh, okay, upwards I go. Uh, where is my ship? Here we go. Though it is just the launch platform. So I'm not exactly certain. Okay, you know, I'll. I'll deal with these issues as they pop up. Um, where did I put my thing? I, I have it here somewhere, don't I? Uh, do I not? Um, hello? Oh, there we go. I was thinking it like floated away on an ocean current for a second. Oh, and we get a nice. Okay, can I need to turn off these lights. I don't like how they go above the water. I we find. We get a nice view of the rising sun and the planet. Alright. Neptune escape rocket provides a stable surface to which to launch the Neptune. Ooh. Okay, I have a feeling we have to do more construction because that is simply a launch platform, right? <laughs> oh, that is a beautiful sight though. That is huge. I mean, it is a rocket, so it does make sense. Rockets are inconceivably massive for the amount of space they provide. Um... What happens if I'm under this thing? I don't really want to find out. I assume it just pushes me- actually, let's find out, fuck it, why not? Um... Yeah, you just push me down- Oh my- You are incru- No. Don't tell me. Don't tell me me being under it has knocked it to the side? How- Okay, we're blasting off at an angle in order to line up our rotation. It's a small atmosphere. Neptune Gantry. Oh. Okay. I mean, this is... It's even got its own fabricator. Oh. Oh, no. Time for another time lapse. I'll see you, lads. Welcome back. Like, nothing ever happened. Uh, secures the... Supports a rocket during construction. Okay, so I'm gonna have to gather more... Ooh. Oh, that was a nice new track. Okay, uh, construct. I'm going to guess we have quite a bit more to gather then. Um, this, this is kind of bothering me, but I think it's quite funny. And I don't really want to... Can I deconstruct... Oh my god, I know, I know. I've been on this planet for ages, PDA. You don't have to constantly remind me now. Okay, you might have to. I am kind of stupid, but... Okay, um... Is it just gonna be in one go which I build this thing? Isn't a gantry mainly used to support the rocket during launch? I don't know if it's actually used during construction. Ah, uh, I see. I'm going to need different components there. Okay, so I need plasteel, nickel ore, aerogel, and a wiring kit. Okay, well, um... Two aerogel... Uh, that's actually really easy. Except for the plasteel. That's the hard... I <laughs> Why is titanium the hardest bit for me? Out of every other resource, that's so... Okay. Wait, do I have the nickel? Um, I don't know if I have the nickel. I think the nickel is just in the... Hmm. 
No, I don't think I used too much in it. Okay, I'm just gonna... Uh, we had exactly enough nickel. I forgot the wiring kit. Okay, now this time we had exactly enough nickel and including the wiring kit. Wow, this thing, oh, you know, there's going to be two more stages, isn't there? Yeah, there's got to be, a, okay, this is a solid, oh, yeah, I remember, it was solid stage and then liquid stage and then, uh, okay, well, I'm just going to cut you in every single time. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't take that much more titanium or nickel. I would have to go back to Brian River for nickel or, uh... Okay, fuel reserve. I need plasteel, crystalline. Ah! Well, no. Oh no, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. You absolute. Oh my god, you. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, we're going under. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I'll be right back. Um. Hopefully it doesn't take too much of this stuff. How much kyanite? I have one. I don't have enough kyanite either. Of course I don't. Um, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Um, wait, is that okay? Uh, hi, welcome back. I ended up. Uh, well, I was about to go to the mountain. Or wait a minute. Is that one of the ki- Oh my god, hey, you're kind of ruining the moment, I think- Hey, are you gonna be friendly? Ooh, you're- I think you're the old grown-up version. I was gonna go back to the mountain to, uh, find the- uh, Well, crystalline sulfur and some other stuff. Oh god, I wish it came in my seam off. I can actually get up there, um... Okay, you know what? Sure, fuck it. I brought my stasis rifle. I want to- no, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah! You used to scare me, now you don't. Come here. Uh, hey big guy, can I- I mean, I assume you're friendly. I essentially am... Well, not your father, but... I did help hatch you, um... Hey, come here, come here, I, I, I just wanna scan you, please. Hello? Hey, buddy. Uh, oh! Okay, well, they- I see why you weren't so concerned about growing up. Well, I mean, nice to meet you. I didn't expect you to grow so damn fast. It's only been like... Well, maybe it's been like an hour. Um, Hey, fuck off from my seat. Oh, you bastard. Don't you dare break it. Get the, mm, fuck off. Do not, that's the wrong one. Yeah, let go. Where's, where's my ship? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was about... I was a bit worried he was going to break it. Um, What percent are you at? Am I at the mountain? I think I'm at the mountain. Let's see. Oh no, you were fine. You were completely unfazed. Um, anyway, back to me gathering resources. I know this episode has been a lot of skipping around, but uh, this episode's mainly been me gathering resources. Anyway, where the hell's the mountain? Bye. <sighs> oh, that's sad. That's real sad. I've- I've come- okay, welcome back. I've come back to mine some resources, but... I suppose that's the end of, uh, the Sea Emperor, huh? Well, we did just see his child, so I suppose it's not the end of the Sea Emperor story. Oh, you do actually just appear to be laying down, though. Though, I have a feeling... Yeah, I have a feeling your time's nigh. Okay, well, goodbye, buddy. Uh, see you in the next life. Okay, uh, it's been a bit, it's been a lot longer than a bit, honestly. <laughs> I didn't expect that to take me so long. I have gathered the resources. What, I'm going to guess there's one more stage, right? Okay, what last thing do you need for me? Uh, as, if it's a resource I don't recognize, um, I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay, and I think we just need to make the cockpit, right? So probably some more plasteel, probably a bit of an animal glass, and then... Um, I don't know. 
Oh, is he? Ooh, can I customize this thing? I mean, no way, right? <laughs> it's a, I would have to put it in a moon pool. I don't think I can do that. Um, no. Oh. oh, I need a Cyclops shield generator, plasteel ingot, and then, ooh. Well, I was right about the glass. Okay, a Cyclops shield generator. Wait, I wanted to make that, but I didn't have the... Okay, how do I make that? Um, I didn't have the kind, or I forgot to make it. I had the kind, but I just ended up making something else instead. Okay. Um, well, I should have made it instead. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, uh, advanced wiring kit. Polyaniline. Powers. I can do that. That's slightly complicated, but I can actually do that. In fact, I'll be right back. Huh? Don't see me. <laughs> You don't see me. You do see me, don't you? Hey, buddy. Why don't you take a look at the warper over there, huh? You don't need me. I don't need you. I will be out of your hair permanently in just a moment. Be Please be patient. I mean you no harm. Okay, if I come down here, and then... How is it still powered? What? <laughs> this is potentially, in fact, I think it is quite literally the last time I'm going to be docking into the Cy Cyclops. Uh, I did realize I actually need to come back here in order to... Uh, yeah, I need to come back here to make this thing. Um, okay. <laughs> I'll be back. Uh, see ya. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back. I have gotten everything I've needed to, and I'm prepared to leave. I've grown quite attached to this alien planet, and... I don't know. Subnautica is one of the few games I can say that really nails the completely alien world feeling. In fact, I've known only two other games that can do that. Uh mainly being Outer Wilds and one I haven't played on this channel yet. Um, I've grabbed all my pets, but here's the thing. I don't think I can take them off-world with a good consciousness, because while I may be cured of Kara, I know they are not. <laughs> They've been stuck inside my tank for quite a while, and uh, my friend told me I might have a solution for that. <laughs> Anyhow, it... Neptune 1 rocket online. It has been an absolute pleasure playing this with y'all. Um, I don't know why I said y'all. I never say y'all. Uh, oh, uh, call elevator. Oh, it's right here. Oh. It does feel a bit, you know, fitting that, you know, the rocket I made is a bit wonky. <laughs> Rather fits my personality quite a bit. Anyhow, thank you all. Uh, for joining me this series. I really had quite a bit of fun with this game. Uh, normally, ooh. Oh, it's a whole structure. I mean, of course it is. It's a rocket. Oh, storage. Oh, accelerate power unit. Oh, I see. I'm going to have to figure out how to pilot this rocket. Um, communications array. How the hell do I do this? <laughs> I don't know. Hydraulics. I'm not a rocket scientist. Um, okay. Oh. Oh, and I see, that's the... How do I... I expected this to be quite a bit simpler. Um, Boot up the primary. I guess I just have to do rocket not ready. Yeah, I suppose I just have to hit every switch. Um, Activate life support. Ah, here. Yeah. This is what I've been told about. Here we go. And then... As much as these lands have kept me company, I'm fairly certain they're infected. Oh, no. Oh no, there's only space for a couple of them. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna keep the two dearest to my heart, uh, which would be Gary and Harry, as they've been with me the longest, but a wary, a berry, a airy, <laughs> Harry, uh, Rary, and Perry, <laughs> thank you for your service. Um, how do I do this? Prepare time capsule. Oh, I have to leave a message. Oh, I can attach it. I don't know if I want to attach any of these images, but... Okay, here we go. Uh, this is... Perry. 
Oary. Uh, Barry with a bay. Airy. Harry. And Rary. Please take good care of them. As they did me. It is not retro. And if any of you somehow find this in game, I mean, congratulations. Um, what do I want to take a picture of? I don't really want to include the Reaper skeleton as it's a bit of a spoiler, you know? And I don't want, er, yeah, I feel like it indicates you can kill them and that might send the wrong message to a player. So I shall simply, oh, now here's a good one. Something slightly spoilerish, but not a, <gasps> I am so strong. I am so fundamentally different. I, I can't believe I survived that. I thought... One moment. A call at a rather inopportune time and a bit of a somber moment. Anyhow, uh, let me take a, I believe it was F11. Here we go. Just a bit of a spoiler screenshot. Anyhow. Uh, thank you all for joining me in this series. Uh, sometimes I'm streaming now. Let me do my YouTube plug bit. <laughs> or Twitch plug bit. Uh, sometimes I stream on Twitch now. Uh, God, I really hate doing this. This feels... I don't like plugging myself. <laughs> I'm not... It feels weird. Um, I really had a lot of fun with this game. Uh, I don't... I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I'm just ready to go. You know? I've done everything I wanted to. Anyway, here we go. Select. Perfect. Time capsule ready. Fantastic. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, there's only just a couple things left. I just throw the switches. <sighs> throw a switch. Auxiliary power unit. Auxiliary Communications power array. Unit Systems Why are there hydraulic systems on a rocket? I don't actually know, but... Pressurizing hydraulics. Yeah, well, what hydraulics, though? <laughs> okay, and let me not ruin the moment by being overly cynical. Anyhow. Um... Oh. I guess I need to activate some other systems. Let's see, where are they? Activate life support. Perfect. Life support systems online. And now... Uh, there is one more. Where, where is it? <laughs> Where's the last one? Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna be done in by my... <laughs> no, no. Oh, boot up the primary CP. Okay, okay, I thought that was just a couple little trash can or something. And that doesn't really make sense, though. Um, anyhow. Uh, for the last time. Systems are go for lift off. Thank you all for joining me. <laughs> How does this happen? Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Yes, I am a captain now, huh? Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time capsule jettison. Approaching orbital debris field. Oh, come on. Orbital debris field clear. <laughs> Performing gravity turn maneuver. A little bit of a cheeky throwback there right at the end, huh? Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one.
What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end? They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. Okay. <laughs> 